Everyone's so fragile. Not me. What's the best way to open? Let's pick a hammer. Let's try this. On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> no, Peter! YouTube, welcome back to another 978 video. Right now we got the amazing Spider-Man from the Marvel Legends Vintage Wave. And it does look really cool. It's a sought-after figure. A lot of people are going crazy for it because it's new. And because it's a Spider-Man. And because it's Spider-Man, I had to pick him up myself. I was happy to have it. Walked into a Walgreens spur of the moment and found it. Got happy and been walking into Walgreens ever since not finding any but someone sent me one I made a trade with him so I got two now I'm gonna open one and keep one on the wall of fame but let's get right into it they give you a small quick basic description and the rest of the characters in the wave if I may real quick a lot of people say that this figure isn't worth 20 bucks because it doesn't come with a build a figure part and maybe that's true but to be fair you get a second opportunity to pick up Spider-Man and Wolverine, so go for it if you can. But while you consider it, let's carefully open this package. No, I won't open it that way. Because it is really simple to open. And I did make some cracks right here in this plastic. I don't recommend to do this, guys. I'm just being an ass. You're going to cut yourself doing something dumb like this. But look, it's like a book. So it's folded. And at this very bottom here, there's an opening. You stick your thumb in. Stick both thumbs in and you just peel right away. And you see it's a book. Uh oh. Uh oh. Treasure? Spider-Man? It's on the inside as well. It's pretty neat. But I see why. They had to put it on the inside to finish the artwork on the outside of the cover. But it's pretty cool. At first I thought I was opening two toys. But yeah, you see the leg. It's just to finish the leg. I was never aware of how good this transparent casing looks. Now I never open packages on camera. So I'm gonna do this for the sake of the thing that makes it smaller than This is just a waste of time. So, for time's sake, let's speed it up. Spider-Man on the left and Pizza Spider-Man on the right and you can see they both are the exact same figure with a few minor differences. For one, the hips are better on the new vintage Spider-Man and the colors are slightly toned down. The blues are brighter, the reds are more matted and I don't know, like it's not as bright as the red is on the Pizza Spider-Man. And then the Pizza Spider-Man is just a nice shiny gloss look to it. It depends on what you like. Me personally, I like the matte look on the figure, but I like the way the gloss figure feels. What I mean is, my son pointed this out, this feels real sandy. Like dry. Whereas, the Pizza Spider-Man is really smooth. So you can't really hear any finger rub. Both Spider-Man are wearing two different logos. I believe the Pizza Spider-Man logo is more accurate. But then again, I'm not sure, so correct me if I'm wrong. The matted finish on the vintage Spider-Man absorbs light better, so it's better for pictures. And that's a cool thing when you're into posing your figures around and taking some photos. So that's a good thing. But I do like also the saturation color on the pizza Spider-Man. Logos in the back are also different. Again, I'm not sure if the spider on the vintage Spider-Man is accurate or not. But I like the one on the pizza Spider-Man better. Side by side, not much different, just color tone, height, width, length, all the same. Except their split capability. The vintage is like the Ben Riley Spider-Man, has a lot more legroom. And that's as wide a stance possible with both feet flat still on the floor. 
Damn, it feels like yesterday. Rest in peace, Glenn Webb. You are the man, and I loved watching all your videos. You had a great personality. If you're thinking about switching hands, think again. These pegs are different, but these heads seem very similar. Again, just paint is a little different. Matted on the left, glossy on the right, more saturated red on the right. And the flesh tone's a little darker on the left. But other than that, they look the same. And, and again, this is why I like the matted look. You can see barely any reflection on the web, on the cobwebs. Whereas on the other, you can see a lot of reflection. For a repainted figure, I do recommend it. Only because you don't know how long he's going to last on shelves. I doubt he'll go on any discount sales anytime soon. So if you're lucky, maybe in Christmas time, you'll find him for a little cheaper than 20 bucks. But if you do see him, I would recommend picking him up. It is a cool looking Spider-Man. And if you don't have a piece of Spider-Man, this is the guy you want. If you have one, you probably don't need this guy. Let me know what you think about this figure. If you have one already, is it worth the 20 bucks? Is this a good review? Did I exceed your expectations? Do you want to see more? Which customs do you want to see next? Is subscribing too much to ask for? Do you want to see Pizza Spider-Man again? Probably not. Well, let me know, guys. I appreciate the love, and I'll see you on the next one.